Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. This is Karen Nelson, aka The Designer in Jeans. Here is a look inside of our home, which we absolutely love. And this is our beautiful backyard where we love to just kind of hang out, relax, have bonfires. But we have been married almost 22 years. On this channel, we love to explore, hang out, and we do various projects on the inside and out of our 1960s home. So if this is something you're interested in, come see us every Friday. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen Nelson, aka The Designer in Jeans. And if you are one of our loyal subscribers or viewers, welcome back. Um, I'm super excited to announce that we hit over 100 viewers. I think we're at 101, which is really cool and I'm thankful for all of you who have taken the time to subscribe and that enjoy watching our videos. I'm glad we're putting something out that is worth watching. So um, <clears throat> if there's anything you ever want me to talk on, design or anything like that, um, questions you want me to answer, please uh, put them in the comments or reach out to me and that way I can address all your weird stuff because we have a small community here and um, I would love to be able to communicate with y'all. Let's see. This has been, I have shot a bunch of footage over the last couple weeks because again, I have been, I'm trying to get this out on a Friday as promised. It has been a wild, really 2023, but a very wild last month and a half um, with family stuff and just a bunch of stuff going on. Um, so, it, of course, you know, when you make this channel, everything's going great, everything's fantastic. So when things pop up in your life, like they inevitably do, it's very hard to stick to that schedule sometimes because obviously certain things take precedence over doing a video. So I am back. Hopefully I'll be able to keep up the schedule. I really do like the every Fridays. So I'm gonna continue working and striving to do that for y'all. But I do appreciate the grace for the times that I do miss. But let's start talking. Okay, so this week I have a ton of footage and the footage is all over the place. I'm not gonna lie. It is literally pretty much like my brain works. <laughs> so we have, um, I do wanna show you the only real project we did over the last couple weeks. Um, my husband did paint some doorways and stuff that needed to be painted and he finished that off, but he installed a barn door down the hallway for me, so it lets light down the hallway. It's really beautiful, so I will take you to see that. Um, it has a grayish tone to it right now because this is the same barn door that was actually in my daughter's apartment that just got switched. Um, so it has like a gray tone because that's what her apartment was. So I do believe I'm going to paint it, and I'm really going back and forth with making all of the doors in my home black and including this door, like the frame of it black. Uh, well, actually, I'm sorry, leaving all the frames white, but painting the doors a black. Um, I'm going back and forth on that, or leaving all the doors white, except for the door to the laundry room, which is blue, and then making that door down the hallway navy blue as well. So I'm torn, haven't quite decided yet, so right now I'm just sitting on it. But I will show you that, it looks beautiful. And then other than that, it has been work and family. Um, so for work, I did some really exciting stuff. We did, we actually partnered a lot with the Salted Hippie Boutique that's over in League City. And she was a part of a very fun event. Um, she did a fashion show portion for an event. And then she had me come with them and actually pick what I wanted um, out of the clothing and the accessories and stuff. And then when we got to the venue, I actually helped and designed the layout of what people would shop, the like a little pop-up shop. So I did that and then I have some footage of that. And then I also got to work with the Salted Hippie again, what was it, like yesterday? I think it was two days ago. And we just, we have been doing remodeling over there. We had, we had this plan and it just, you know, little by little it was being done. Well, the cash register just got moved and now we needed to fill in the space in the center. So we reworked all of that. Um, so far, some pretty good compliments on how it's turned out for shopping. 
So we, I have some of that footage too, like the after of what we did. And then the problem with my footage this time is I didn't tell y'all what I was doing. I just shot films and didn't speak. <laughs> so the other thing that I did is I went and I had been looking and I'll insert the photo of my inspiration, but I had been wanting bangs and like a new style um, for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I finally did it. I um, finally got in with someone. So I ended up getting um, my haircut, which I'm in love with it. I love the face framing. It's just, I feel good. I feel really good with this haircut. So now I'm going to be honest. This is day two. They styled it yesterday. I am not sure what it's going to look like when I do it, but supposedly it's supposed to look good. So fingers crossed. So I did that. I did get myself some new lipsticks that I'll show y'all. And, um, we just have some footage of hanging around the house. So just kind of ride the wave with me this week and then I'll get back to actually speaking more next week. All right, guys, enjoy. So here we are at the Salted Hippie and these are the two racks that were going to be um, worn by the models, all the models outfits and some of their new releases here. So at this point, they were gathering all the looks. I think she had two looks per um per model they had already come in and tried everything on so they were just piecing it together to make sure she's extremely organized for these she does a fantastic job um when she gets to do this um styling of the models so there's the beautiful clothes there's lydia the owner and this of course is a salted hippie so here is the actual setup for this is the part that i actually did where I helped them gather everything and then we came over there and we set up the like a booth really but it wasn't technically the size of a booth but we got to come in with nothing there and then do kind of like our pop-up shop which ended up being fantastic over to the left um, with the white cloths that was all the silent auction so this is all of Lydia's clothes there and her booth the way we set it up and it ended up being such a fun night. It was very busy, a great cause. And here is some of Lydia's clothes on the models. I love that sparkly one. But this was just such a cool event. All of these items are from the Salted Hippie Boutique. And they are online as well if you want to check them out. But I thought this was such a fun fashion show. And everyone did such an excellent job very proud to be part of it. Happy Saturday, everyone. We are laying at the end of our property, actually. Ginger, yes, ma'am, I see you. She is loving every second of this because she's always out here without us. But I'll flip you around to even have the cat out here with us. So everyone that is home right now is out at the end of our property. Our house, that's our shed there, and our house is way back there. So we are just soaking this up. The wind is kind of bad. I hope it's not going to blow your old ears out, but I will flip you around so you can see what we're seeing on this Saturday. Oh my God. <laughs> Chris is under there. <laughs> She's so sweet though. <laughs> so here is our view. End of our property. This is our fence right here in the back. And that's where the horses and the donkeys and everybody are. So this is just the field full of cows. Just look at that sky, guys. Such a beautiful Saturday afternoon.
what's going on? It's your boy Chris, and today I'm going to show you what I do in my off time. I make kombucha, so stick around. Let's check this out. The true production, guys. He's got four going. He's creating more. Um, you're adding tea today? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's yep. adding the tea. And then look at this back stock. <laughs> Woohoo! I am currently drinking this one, which is his newest flavor. And it is labeled TBT Triple Berry Threat. <laughs> it's really good. But he's over here making the actual um, tea concoction thing that you put together for creating those yummy things. And then it sits for a week, right, in these big yeah, jars? that's right. Okay. That's right. All right, so making kombucha is actually really simple. So kombucha tea has been around for, you know, probably thousands of years. I think the Chinese did it, you know, early, you know, back in the you know, BC days. And uh, what the, the whole point of the kombucha tea is to create beneficial bacteria and yeast for your gut so you maintain a healthy gut biome. That's the whole purpose of it, right? So there's several parts of the tea, so we'll go over a few of these. So number one is the pellicle, okay? So this organism here is called the pellicle, okay? So in the, I guess in the kombucha world, it, it, it's commonly known as SCOBY, all right? But nonetheless, it's called pellicel. So this pellicle creates what's called SCOBY. And SCOBY is an acronym that stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast, okay? So the whole thing about kombucha is like fermentation, right? So this pellicle, you know, you put tea in it and then you make sweet tea. You put one cup of sugar per gallon and the pellicle eats the sugar and a byproduct of that is a bacteria and yeast that is actually very good for your gut microbiome so so that's the thing so if you've ever heard the term with the mother right so got uh apple cider apple cider vinegar here right this right here so when it says the term with the mother right here that's actually pieces of the pellicle okay so that uh, the pellicle is in here and it continues to eat the, the little bits of sugar that are in there. So it continues to grow. And that's why you'll see if you leave this jar sitting here for a while, the pellicle will actually grow. So, but it needs sugar to grow. So, so what we do is we create uh, tea. So then we, we, uh, we make sweet tea. We have different batches. So what I'll actually do is I'll, I flavor my tea, right? So I usually use black tea and peach. That's, that's one. I usually do about four bags of black pitcher size and then two of the smaller tea for the peach, right? That creates one gallon. So here is the after of the salted hippie once we moved everything. We have created a jean bar. Those used to just be on a rack. So now there is a jean bar. She added this piece on the left here you're seeing that was used in the pop-up and then they added some clothes to that. So a little more uh, surface area. And then here in the center, this used to be on the long table up front, but we put a bunch of little round tables together so you could shop in a circle. And that's all the perfumes, candles, um, soaps, different little kind of knickknacks. And then here is our seating area that you can rest and relax while you're waiting on someone to change. And then this diamond area was more candles. This is the dressing rooms that we have updated. Um, you may have seen those in an earlier vlog. This was one of the first things we did in the change. And then over in this little area, we now have a shoe bar area as well as on the other side, there's another rack that looks, it's mostly purses, they're novelty bags. And then here we have more hanging space for shirts. Here is the door that I promised to show you. So this is the barn door that was 
in Jasmine's apartment that has now been replaced. And I love the fact that it brings light in. It makes this whole area, even when I have the lights off, it makes the whole area look so much brighter. There's the man over there. So I did kind of want to tell you that this door is kind of an analogy for what life looks like for a lot of us most of the time. So on the outside, look how beautiful it is. But this is what the truly is going on behind the scenes. <laughs> so if you're a friends watcher, this is Monica's closet, tool edition. But yeah, so all the pretty stuff Chris has done has ended up in there, even the door. But look how pretty that is. Thanks for hanging that low. Well, here we are. We're on the back porch now. About to wrap up this sweet video. Yes. Yes. What, what do we call this? Back, back porch chat? What right. was the name of it? Uh, do we have a name banter? for it? Back porch banter? Yeah, yeah. back porch banter. I like that. Yeah. I thought it was very clever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. So what a week. Oh my goodness. We have had quite the ride here at the Nelson household. Yeah. Yeah, between some of these construction projects wrapping up to an end, and then we had friends and family in the hospital, and then we had some friends and fan family, unfortunately, pass away this week. It has been a tough day and past couple days, so... Yeah. Unfortunately, it's just the way life is sometimes. Yeah. But nonetheless. So we're trying to bring joy back to y'all. That's right. Uh, we're just, uh, this week is, is very patchy. <laughs> yeah. It'll, we'll find time to actually uh, get more out to you and more. Um, I love when we do the projects and stuff. I think our next project needs to be that garage of yours. Or, well, how about Monica's closet? Why don't we get Monica's closet back into the shed? <laughs> you need to flip them around so they can see that nice yeah. shed that has no tools well, in it. Well, <laughs> so, all right, look, this is the way it is, okay? So, when I get done with these projects, I don't feel like bringing everything back to that to the shed because then I got to go get it again next weekend. And now I have so much time to do stuff because I work so much. So, it's like I'm just staging it in the house. That's all I'm doing. Like, because, like, like, seriously, who goes in that room? That's like Jasmine's wig room. Like, like no what like come on man no one goes in there because you can't without getting injured that room point. wasn't used anyway it's it's awesome it's being used now <laughs> yes the tools have this very nice aroma that it causes yeah it's got that aroma it's got that real Metal, manly scent dusty. <laughs> tool musk that's uh, that's the next uh that, that's the cologne it should be called tool musk smell a vision yeah. Would have been ideal. So, so yeah, there's the, the shed that she's talking about. It's way like it's way over there. Like I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna carry all that stuff back all the it's, time. In his defense, this week we'll say in your defense, it has been raining. So we have an idea to create a path, which I think is gonna have to happen. Some yeah. point we're gonna have to have some form of rock or something. Because right now, uh, it's actually drier right now, but it's still damp. But to get back and forth, it, it would be a muddy mess. So we need some sort of like gravel or something to make it more appealing. Another project for another day. <laughs> oh, wait, I did want to show them before we sign off. I want to show them what those plants up front. We oh, yeah. finally figured out what they are. Yeah. Super excited. Let's go show them that and then we'll, we'll head out. All right. So check out these bad boys. Look at these. Man, really healthy looking too. Like, Look what they're producing. There's a snake fun. in here, so I'm scared to death. So look at what they're producing. Can you see? Yeah. Baby watermelon. All right. These are great. Yep, here's really one healthy too. looking too. We love it. There's a bigger one in, in here. there. And then this guy's got a bunch too. Yep. That one's getting really dark. Are you supposed to get them when they're smaller, or do they turn darker as they... No. And I, I don't think these are going to grow as big as the ones that you get in the store, right? You think those are... Maybe a lot of Yeah, I don't know. And then there's some over here, but yeah. We're going to have a huge watermelon thing going on. I'm not sure any of our other plants are going to survive. <laughs> These the things are taking over. Choke them out. <laughs> yeah, well... All right, well, bye for this week. 
All right. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate yes, you always checking for, in on us. Yes, and the 100 subscribers. Thank 101, you. 101, baby. That's what's Woo! up. All right. Have a good one. All right. Bye-bye.